boys and girls. We've been talking about the cat in the hat. Well, we're going to start anyway, because I do read you a book called The Cat in the Hat. Today it's story time, and it's by an author we're talking about, Dr. Seuss. So it's a great time to talk about at words that rhyme. So get out your whiteboard. Also, get out a piece of white paper. Set that aside. We're going to use that in a minute. But you need your whiteboard and you need a dry erase marker. When you're ready, when you have that, come back. Turn it off and go get it. Okay, so on our dry erase board, I want you to turn it the long way. Okay, the long way. And we're going to do the at words. We've done these before. At. Two sounds. At. Go ahead, write them. Don't wait for me to. Give it a try. At. I wrote at at the top. Now check yours. Is your A smaller than your T? Good, because it should be. Are they lowercase? If they're not, it's okay. Stop the video. Go fix it. And come back when you're ready. All right. The next thing I'm going to do is draw a line. Best I can. It won't be straight, but I'm okay with that. At. And now we're going to think about rhymes. The cat in the hat has rhymes. Can you write them? I bet you can. This is at. Now we want k at. Ready? Get your board ready. K. Another little sound. Lower case. I'm not showing you yet. Cat. Hat. Ooh, under it. See if you can do it under. Got to move your lips to make it work. Are you ready? What do you think? Did you do k at cat? C A T? At. Hat? H A T? If you did, we're ready to go on. If not, just pause it. See if you can get them on there. Now don't erase. Hmm. Cat. Hat. Mat. Find a place to write mat. Now look at your board. Touch at. Mat. I'm all the way at the bottom. I'm going to find another spot. Now I'm going to write pat. Remember to do the sounds. Pat. Make sure there's space. Pat. Oh, and that P. Oops, I told you it was a P. P goes all the way to the worm line. Take a minute and look. We did at, cat, at, hat, m, at. Did you get the M? Oh, look at that little peak hole at the top. And did you do p, at? You did. Here's my challenge. Do two more. It could be sat, fat, rat. Ooh, if you're really thinking that, or ch chat. You need extra letters for those. Do two more. And then take your board and go read it to somebody. Touch the words and read it. Say, you want to see my at words? When you've written two more words and you've run off and told somebody, come back. Okay? See you in a minute. Now what you need is a black crayon. Must be black. 
and a sheet of white paper. I put them in your learning kit so you all have it. And I'm going to put mine here so you can see. We are going to do a directed draw, which means you're going to draw it as I tell you. Ready? We're going to start off by making kind of a long rectangle, not too tall. Go ahead and do that. It's nice to do it dark. And then up here, I'm going to make it the biggest hat I can, as big as I can. Because this hat is now going to have stripes in it. Do you already know whose hat it's going to be? <laughs> That's right. We're making the face of the cat in the hat. Ready? After you get the stripes, then you come down here and watch me first. You're going to make kind of an upside down rainbow. You don't want it to go right to the edge. If it does, it's not a problem. Okay. Now our cat, he's going to have an ear on each side. That's the part sometimes I forget. There he is. And the other thing that the cat in the hat always has is a bow tie. So down here on his chin, you're going to make a square. And then on one side, I'm going to make a loop. Now remember, if I'm going too fast, just stop the video. I just have to get it all in in time. And on the other side, kind of the same. Sometimes what I do is I even put in these little lines here just to make it look more like a good detail. Okay. Now, the cat in the hat has oval eyes. So we're going to make two ovals. And I'm going to teach you the trick about Dr. Seuss. And you're going to notice it when you look at his books from now on. Dr. Seuss always puts the letter U for the eyes. I never noticed it before, but look. I don't know if you can see. See his little eyes? They are like the letter U. Okay, and then we're going to give our cat a nice dark nose. I'm coloring it in. Right? And, of course, we're going to give him a mouth. He looks pretty happy. Now, he's a cat, so we are going to put on a few whiskers here. There he is. Now, this is where you get a choice, boys and girls. If you have a paint set at home and you would like to paint your cat, I think that would be wonderful. But I'm not going to paint it right now. I am going to take my red crayon and go back now. I'm going to color his bow tie in. I like that I did the whole thing with a black crayon. And now I want to do the parts that will make him really look like the cat in the hat. Look at that. That's his red tie. Um, he has stripes on his hat. So I'm going to start at the top. Whatever. We all probably have a different number of stripes. That won't matter. So he's got red and then white. And then red. And then white. And then I'll make his, the big brim of his hat, I'll make that red too. That worked out pretty well. It's okay if yours is red or white. Now, all the pictures Dr. Seuss did of the cat in the hat, he really left him mostly white. So you know what I like to do? That's when I like to color the background. And if you have paint, it'll go much faster. But see how I'm just going to color everything that's not the cat blue. Just like that. Okay? I think it's pretty cool. It's nice if you have watercolors because when you use a crayon, 
it's um, it helps you to stay in the lines a little bit. It helps to keep the paint in the line. But even when I'm coloring kind of quick like this, notice how I'm going really fast. I'm not leaving any holes, but it's because I'm leave using kind of the side of my crayon. I am going to hang him up. And I can't wait to see yours. Okay, so if I went too fast, just go back. Give it a try. It's a directed drawing, which means Miss Red tells you, And but do you know what? I do not expect yours to look just like mine. Yours will look a little bit different than mine, and that's okay. But if it has all the parts, even if they don't look the same, everybody will know who you made. Okay. There. I'm pretty happy with that. What do you think? <laughs> I especially like the way Dr. Seuss does his pupils. That really is kind of cool. I never noticed that for a long time. So, hmm, I'm going to show you my board. Oops, you know what? I can't. I'm out of time. Sorry, guys.